Alright guys, we're back for another Dokkan Battle video. So, uh, LRB Pan um, has gotten an easy 8, and she is very, very good. Um, she is a really powerful easy 8. Um, when I initially looked at her, it felt like, eh, they didn't really do that much. And then I was like, oh, but she does have her damage reduction guaranteed. That's solid. I mean, I've done like a full world tour on her at this point. I've taken her into most of the content. And she's just very impressive overall. I mean, again, if you're like a free-to-play player or you're not like Goresh or me, uh, you're going to be able to get a lot of value out of this character because she's on very, very significant teams. Hybrid Saiyan, Goku Family, GT Hero, Space Traveling Warriors, all great teams that B-Pan is on. And she works, right? Between her stunning, her, um, you know, really good key ability, her healing... Her damage reduction, she has early super attacks, her ridiculous active skill support, her solid link set across all of her teams. Like, LRB Pan is really good. Um, now, <clears throat> alright, so she came out, I mean, it, it's like, I, I could say a while ago on JP at the start of May, but global players are now actually hopping into her easy area, which is this one right here. You guys are now able to participate in this, and you can see how sort of annoying it is only in that you have to wait weeks you know to, to basically do the event now the thing that's a little odd about this I, I believe jp had this event up for five weeks whereas globals only got it up for four weeks now i think people are saying that you won't be able to um fully easy her if you don't get all of these drops right here um because like here's what it says it, it's funny they're wording in here is hilarious, by the way. Here, let's just go ahead and zoom out. Okay. So, <laughs> uh, B-Pan's secret adventure easy area can be attempted up to four times during the campaign period. Please note, it will be difficult to collect the required number of Awakening Medals for Extreme Z Awakening if you miss an attempt. As a result, you will be unable to complete certain missions. Now... This does not mean you're done and locked out forever, but I don't know when this is coming back because I believe the way it's worked, right? So this is, B-Pans is the third of three of these LREZA areas. Now, this is going to be a long video talking about how Dumbos need to start taking this shit serious because these three EZA LRs are gods. And I presume... A lot of LRs are going to do this. You, listen, if you are a free-to-play player, you're one of these smart asses. He says, well, I'm not grinding up Veku because he sucks. Listen, I'm the number one person who is saying Veku sucks. The, the AGL Veku that came with PyCon and Janemba, he's a worthless, shitty card. But I rainbowed him. I got him done because I bet you he will be a unit that we'll need to use for one of these LR prime battle. Like, like or, uh, I always say that. One of these LR EZA areas because these LR EZA areas are ridiculous. These are the best free-to-play units in the game, right? And it's like, like even like me, like I run these three. Like I, I use these characters. They're just that good. So you have to get all of these free-to-play units farmed up. You have to get all this shit grinded up. Now, Goku, I believe, has come back, tw like, he has come back once. Um, his EZA area was available again when Frieza's EZA area came out on JP. Now, Frieza, I believe, has not yet returned on JP. So, you know, if you weren't able to get him done back then, he still has not been back. I mean, we're now talking, well, seven months so, that's the thing about this B-Pan stuff right now on Global. If you're not ready to do this, you really might not be able to get her until, like, February or something like that of next year. It's going to be a long time. And I'm seeing a lot of people are dying in this, which, I mean, come on. Uh, the only way you die is if you really just half-ass this. And you put, like, because here's the thing. I, I feel, I swear, people don't know, like, what a lot of these units do half of the time. This Goku raises defense on super attack. If you put him in slot one and B-Pan supers him, you're in trouble, right? Like, that. as long as you don't do that, you should be okay. On a turn with this guy, 
you want to prioritize his super attack if he's going to get hit so he can get that defense, right? That's what you want to do because, again, the way it looks is that if you die doing one of these runs, you won't be able to EZA her during this campaign period. So you have to make sure that you're taking this serious when you jump in. I, I was looking through this post right here. Now, I mean, this this is just the dumbest shit in the world. I mean, I love loot boxes. I mean, he's got to be a troll with that name, right? Anyway. <laughs> but oh well. You did it, buddy. You baited me. <laughs> Let's take a look at his amazing post here. True. I should give him an upvote for how good his post is. All right. I don't agree with how we are basically forced to invest so much time into these free-to-play units that we would barely use. I'm all for making free-to-play units better, then why are you complaining? Uh, are, do we... Okay, okay, so so what are, what are our thoughts on these three right here? This Frieza, you could make the case, you could definitely argue that this Frieza is like a top 10 unit in the game, I think. I think, I think you probably could. Right up there, right? Like, is this Frieza better than LR Super 17? That is like, you, I, you, if I said that, you couldn't immediately just say, no, you're stupid. And, and like, no, like this Frieza is like, I feel like comparable, like to LR Super 17, right? That's how good this Frieza is. This Goku is not quite as good, but he is still very powerful. Um, I think this is a Goku who's going to get better when a couple of the old... Um, like, you know, Goku family units get easy A's, this guy will improve a lot. Uh, in particular, this Bardock right here, if they go crazy with this guy's easy A, Prime Battle Goku is going to be a monster, right? The Bar, by the way, the Bardock easy A, like the Tech Super Saiyan Bardock, the Physical Super Saiyan Bardock, the SCR Super Saiyan 2 Bardock, that easy A, those sub easy A's are going to go crazy. Those guys are on so many good teams. But these three, oh, not him, get rid of him, uh, you, these three are like must-haves, they're so good, even for me, I, I have every good unit rainbowed and stuff like that, I'm still using these three constantly, because they're just that goddamn good, right, you want them done, <clears throat> alright, let's, um, let's go back here, um, all for making free-to-play units better. Obviously not, because uh, they made the free-to-play units better, but you have to actually put in effort. I'm sorry. If you don't want to put in effort, then... Uh, like, if you don't... Here's the thing. If you don't have fun playing Dokkan, why are you playing Dokkan? It, it, games are supposed to be fun, right? Like, that's that's my argument there. Um, but don't make us grind for a week to get them. Uh, buddy... If they let you, besides LR Master Roshi is the one exception to the rule where he, you know, you could grind him up in like an hour or an hour and a half or something like that. And you have him completely done. And LR Master Roshi, not only is he comparable to these three, he might be better. I think LR Master Roshi might be the best free to play unit in the game, but he's like sort of a special exception because he's, you know, the main free to play unit of the six year anniversary, right? Which is the best celebration in Dokkan history. So, besides LR Master Roshi, you know, like, when this guy originally came... Uh, imagine if Dokkan... Did, okay, when this guy originally came out, this was the best leader skill. He had the best leader skill in the game when he first came out. A free-to-play unit, right? Now, STR Gogeta also shared this leader skill. Literally, back then, you basically either had STR Gogeta or you had a worthless account. That's right? the way it worked. And then they gave a free-to-play option that had the same leader skill as the de facto best unit in the game, right? So, like, it's always been a case with Dokkan. I mean, Legends is like this as well, right? Where Ultra Goku, you have to really grind your ass off. They make you grind. Like, you have to grind to get these, you know, free-to-play units that are comparable to summonable characters. If you don't like it, the game is not for you. It's that simple. It's not a big deal. You just don't like the game. Go play a different game, right? Like, don't force yourself to play a game you don't like. Um... At least don't make us arbitrarily need certain characters that already need to be easy aid. The team you have to bring for LRB Pan feels like you are just playing Dokkan wrong. Rant over. All right, this this is just it's absurd. This is ridiculous. Um, I made a nice little reply here. Yeah, th these are the same people who complain. There's no content. The same ones who did not grind these units. Are the same ones complaining now. Right? It's like it's very easy to go grind up. I'm getting, like, all lost here. Let me just sort so that three easy area events are together. Then the LRs. Okay, okay. 
it dude these characters are very easy to grind up these are not difficult to grind up characters right like i can understand the complaints of oh it's so hard oh like at least with like frieza it's like you have to get goku done so not only do you have to grind up prime battle goku but then you have to finish up all of these characters right and then you have to do all of these like you need like half of the game like like free to play like easy aid rainbow and stuff like that to get frieza but guess what that is why frieza is so good uh, because you don't just instantly get him you have to work for him that is the point you have to put in effort to get them. That is what they want. If they're going to drop these characters who are comparable to summonable units, you have to put in the effort, dude. You have to, right? Like, honestly, all of these... Here, let me pull up just, like, some random story events and shit, right? A lot of these shitty free-to-play units they've released... Let me try and find... Who is a free-to-play unit from one of these events that very well oh here we go okay yeah so i guarantee I, I i bet you right where is he is he not in this this is not where you get him the, where do you get the tech cooler yeah he is oh he's right here right here right here okay okay um like okay so this tech cooler right here right i bet you this guy could get a dokkan awakening and he could be a character that we would need for like the trunks prime battle easy a or the krillin prime battle easy a right like they're gonna go through and they're gonna take a lot of these free-to-play units Where, where's another free-to-play unit um oh right here yeah yeah yard track goku right yeah yeah yard track goku right so okay so like you know um oh oh cell maybe for th this guy might get an easy a and then you use him for first form cells prime battle right like couldn't you see that happening i feel like stuff like that is going to happen man you you need to grind up all the free to play units. Don't do this thing. Don't be a bozo. Don't be bozo the clown like I love loot boxes over here and go, "Well, I'm never going to use these units anyway." Guess what? You are going to use them when you're using them to get actual amazing characters who are on a mil like look at this Goku. This Goku's on a lot of good teams. Again, Pure Saiyan, Goku Family, Final Trump Card, Kamehameha, Super Saiyan. Right? Like Frieza is like a must-run option on half... Like, all these villain sides of these teams, right? Transformation Boost, Terrifying Conquer, you know, Space Traveling Wars, Inhuman Deeds, Wicked Bloodline. This freeze is a must-run on, like, all of those teams, right? It is imperative that you get all of the free-to-play units grinded up. And again, you rats love to complain that there is no content while simultaneously not grinding the content that comes out and then using the excuse of I will never use them for why you're not grinding the content while complaining that there's no content. Well, guess what? <clears throat> there is content. Grinding up these characters and then getting ready for these. Now, here's the thing. You don't have to grind... So, like, let's say you don't have this guy done. After watching this video, you'll be like, all right, well, maybe Truth has a point. I'll, I'll grind up this Yardrat Goku, right? You don't have to rainbow him now. Get the Goku, you know, open up all of his dupe paths, but you don't need to rainbow him. You just sit there with all of his dupe paths open. And then if the time comes where you need to easy a him, you need to rainbow him to do one of these easy a areas, then you put the resources into him. You don't have to rainbow him day one. But I, I really highly encourage um any like global players any free-to-play players watching these videos and stuff like that go through all of these events dude get all of these free to play get every free-to-play unit done get them done get them fully duped up but you don't have to rainbow them until you need them right that's what you do right you get veku done the the shitty gt grade 8 vegeta who came out who honestly is, is like horrible Right? Like, you know, uh, oh, yeah, right here. This very kind of quirky unit right here, this Golden Freeze and Sorbet, that very clearly is like half built right now, and we're waiting for his EZA as well. Right? Get these units done, but then wait until you actually have to EZA him. Oh, here we go. This is another one. I guarantee you they're going to do something with this guy, this Cabe right here. 
Oh, yeah. They're going to do something with this boy right here. Get all of these characters done and then await for when you're going to need them, right? Because, again, if you're not able to get B-Pan because you didn't... Because I believe right now, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm both Global and JP. Uh, I believe these guys are not available, right? I, I think the um, the Dokkan Butoden units are not available to grind right now. But, I mean, they were literally just here at the start of April. So, if you chose not to grind them, when they're actually good. Like, Vegeta... Like, you can't say, I will never use Vegeta. Well, I use Vegeta. You saying you have a better account than me, right? Like, like what are you saying? This Vegeta is really good. Candy Vegito is really good. Gotenks and Ghost, is, these three are really good. Like, absolutely. Goku is, is, is very good as well. Not as good as Vegeta, but Goku's very good. And then, you know, the Kid Trunks, Great Saiyan, has got some use. Grandpa Gohan and Pan, they're very good. You get that get really impressive, like, numbers for them. Um... But, like, you want to grind up all these characters and be ready for these Prime Battle Easy A's to drop. Because, again, you know, characters... I got, I got to close... I've got way too many tabs open here. Let's just get rid of all this. And, you know, Bozo the Clown over here. Let's just get rid of all these. Here, let me pull up Legendary Power real fast. Because, like, there's at least two LRs who are definitely getting Easy A's sometime soon. And it's these two, Right. We could see one LR Piccolo could potentially get an easy A at some point soon. Maybe physical Ginyu could get an easy A at some point soon, right? Units like that. But for sure, these two are going to be easy a within the next, like, calendar year. I bet you this this Trunks might be coming up very soon. Like, I would not be shocked if this Trunks was, literally came in, like, June or something like that, right? And, like, when you think about this guy, think about this guy... Let's just pretend he's as good as Prime Battle Frieza, right? Just for the sake of argument, let's say he's as good as Prime Battle Frieza. Again, I've already established that I think Prime Battle Frieza is a borderline top 10 unit in the game. That includes, like, summonable LRs and shit like that. Imagine if that's the case for this Trunks, and then he's just added to all of these teams. All of a sudden, Future, Hybrid Saiyan, Super Saiyan, all these teams, Battle of Wits, just all get a top 10 unit in the game, right? Same thing with this Vegeta. You know, a lot of these teams... That really could use the help. You want to make sure you're ready to get these characters. Because they're just that goddamn good. Um, so make sure you guys are doing this LRB pan easy area. Uh, please, please try not to die. Because if you die, you're probably not going to be able to get B pan for like a solid 7 or 8 months or something like that. She's not going to be gone forever. But it probably will be a while until they bring her back. So make sure you take this serious. I saw someone say, oh, I thought it was like her normal stage where you didn't have to fight her. And it's like, what would possess you to think that? Like, <laughs> it's, a, it's an easy A. <laughs> of course it's a legitimate fight. They're all, every easy A is a, an actual fight. That's not a meme event, right? But it's just that they, they design these easy A's around being a similar process to how you originally got the character. That's why... I, the OG LR Android grind might be a huge pain in the ass, man. If they... Because, like... Let me just pull them up. I'll end with this last point. Um, these two. Remember how to awaken them to LR? Let me just go ahead and jog you guys' memory if you are unfamiliar. In order to get this these characters to LR, these at the time... These are all Dokkan event boss medals, right? You had to beat all of these Dokkan events... That was seven times, right? Then... You had to beat all of these Dokkan events down here. So, like, imagine when you have to LR them, if we had to get, like, a bunch of Easy A medals from every single one of these guys' Easy A's. Like, AGL Super Vegito's Easy A, Tech Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks, AGL Blue Cock and Goku, Int Buhan, Tech Golden Frieza. That really might be how we Easy A them because of the fact that they've already established now that they do a very similar method to easy a units as the method to actually get them to LR in the first place. So, um, again, no crying about no content when you're intentionally leaving some of these characters on the floor, right? Like, you know, B-Pan is good. You want to make sure you get all these characters done so you can grind her up. Um, saying, like, well, I don't want to put resources into Grandpa Gohan and Pan because I'll never use them. I, I mean, that's like an irrelevant point because you need them, you will use them to get her and guess what you will use her because she's really damn good 
Um, oh, I just got STR Rosé to full level 10 links. Okay. Anyway. Let me, <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. So I, I'll end this video. Um, good luck, global players, um, grinding up this event. From what I've seen, by the way, this is not that uncommon, this question mark. The first time I did it, I did not get the question mark. And then the next three or four times, however many times I've done this stage, I got the question mark every single time. Um, and from what I've seen, most people get the question mark. I think this has a very high chance of showing up, just based on the amount of people I see getting this, right? So let me know what you guys think. Uh, thanks for watching. Don't be like Bozo the Clown over there. Make sure you're grinding up your characters. Um, and I'll catch you guys next time.